So I'm here with Bob Tate from Avidius, marketing director. Can you tell us what are you guys offering today? Sure, Christopher. So we're showing uh, mobile 3D technology. Um, here you have uh, our chip, the Myriad 3D chip, which is used to capture and drive 3D screens. So just below it, you'll see uh, a 3D screen, which unfortunately may not come across, but you can actually get a very strong sense of depth uh, on the content as you're watching it. Uh, the advantage of mobile is that you can adjust the screen to get it into your sweet spot and be able to get the right angle on the screen. Uh, on the back there, you can see we have a dual camera capture capability. So these are, are two, two cameras. And what we do inside the chip then is we process the two signals. So we remove any of the mismatch between the sensors. And then we also do the 3D processing so that we capture all the, uh, the depth information and make it comfortable then to view. Okay, and w when, when can we buy these mobile phones for 3D then? So it, there are 3D mobile phones now launching in Japan in March and April of this year uh, into the Docomo and KDDI networks. And just yesterday, LG announced a 3D phone and tablet form factors uh, here at MWC in Barcelona. Will this become a new standard with phones all phones have 3D going forward? I think initially probably not, uh, but uh, ultimately our hope is that 3D will become uh, pervasive. Uh, we've seen it already in the, tri in the TV space where most TVs nowadays come with 3D built in uh, as a matter of course. Um, so we're expecting to see the same kind of development uh, for smartphone, uh, smartphones initially and any media device that you actually use to watch uh, movies uh, or other content. One of the other advantages of uh, our chip is that it can actually convert 2D content to 3D on the fly. So it kind of get, works around the problem of the availability of 3D content which is out there at the moment. Okay, thank you very much. You're